and hi we continue for the next subtopic uh, for topic internet technology which is classification of network in the last lesson you have learned the basic concept of the network and then network architecture okay so today we continue to another subtopic which is classifications of network Network is a collection of computers and devices connected together via communications devices and transmission media. A computer network is a system in which multiple computers are connected to share information and resources. Computer network varies with each other based on their functionality, geography, ownership and communication media use. Learning objective for today is students should be able to explain classifications of network. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about classifications of computer network. A computer network can be divided into two, which is local area network and wide area network. The main differentiation among these classifications based on their area of coverage. So now we are going to talk about what they are and how they differ. So we start with local area network. Local area network or LAN can define a network that connects computers and devices in limited geographical area such as home, school lab, office building or close position group of buildings. So a LAN is can describe as group of computers that share common communication line within a relative small area. Okay. A local area network is typically confined to a single room, building or group of buildings and then the simplest form of local area network is to connect two computers together okay can connect two devices together uh, such as a laptop and smartphone okay local area network owned by organization or we can call as a private network a private network is network in which various restrictions are imposed to secure the network to restrict unauthorized access these types of network is privately owned by single or group of people for their personal use okay let's talk about some examples and i have example here okay for this one okay for office building let's say you are renting the second floor okay this one uh, for an office building for your marketing and you need to set out a network well that will be considered as a local area network okay another one would be example let's say that you own a three-story building okay this one and this difference department on each floor and let's say the marketing department is on second floor so it set up network for the marketing department that also consider has a local area net network. Another one will be your home where you have your home network set up with your laptops and maybe desktop or smartphones, tablets. Then it is also consider has a local area network. Another good example, uh, a lab school computer where there's 30 different desktop and one of each student and it's connected together and so it's also can be local area network so in other words a local area network connects a relatively small numbers of computers or devices in a closed geographical area generally local area network is used to connect two or more personal computers through a communication medium such as coaxial cable, twisted pair cable, and etc. A local area network can use either wired 
or wireless mode of communication. The local area network which entirely use wireless media for communication can be termed as wireless local area network. Computer and devices that access a wireless local area network must have wireless capability or appropriate wireless network card. Okay, this one, network card, wireless network card. Computers and mobile devices on a wireless local area network often communicates via an access point or Wi-Fi routers to access its software, printers, smartphone, and other resources. Okay. Connect to Wi-Fi routers. So, in simple terms, a wireless local area network is local area network without using cables. Now, Advantages of local area network. First is easy to share devices such as for printers, scanners or external drive. All the resources are attached to one network and if any computer needs any resources, then it can be shared with the required computer. Types of resources can be a printer, scanners, modem and hard drive. So there, is no need to purchase separate resources for each computer and it saves costs. Another advantage is easy to share data. Data can be shared across the network. For example, this will allow several people to work on the same project. The setting up of hierarchical system password to allow different users different access is the key to controlling access to most company database. Next is cost of local area network setup is low. It is relatively cheap to have as it tends to require less hassle to set up and less advanced infrastructure to keep it running. And next is communication is easy, fast, and time-saving. In local area network, computers can exchange data and message in the easy and fast way. In local area network, computers can exchange data and message in the easy and fast way. It also saves time and makes our work fast. Every user can share message and data with other users on local area network. So now, let's talk about disadvantage of local area network. First advantage is referred to the security. This is most problem in network. If the server computer is not set up correctly and there is a leak in security, then unauthorized users can access the data also. So there should be privacy policy and rules set up correctly. Network security can be problem. If a virus gets into one computer, it is likely to spread quickly across the network because it will get into the central banking store. Next disadvantage is reduced speed. Where a lot of terminals are served by only one or two printers, long print queues develop. This is because people to have to wait for printed output. Last advantage, which is area covered, is limited. Local area networks are usually made within a building or nearby building and cannot extend to the wider area. Okay, this one is functionalities of local area network, which is file serving. Okay, that one is in local area network, a large storage disk act has a central storage. And then print serving. Okay, printers can be shared very easily in local area network by various computer. And for academic support, Okay, can be used in the classroom, 
labs and etc for educational purpose and then for manufacturing okay and local area network can support the manufacturing and industrial environment and then last is high reliability individual workstation might survive the network in case of failures Let's continue about wide area network or WAN. Wide area network on the flip side is multiple lands connected together. Mean land plus land plus land equal to one. So means is land plus land plus land okay, equal to Wide area network can define a network that covers a large geographical area such as city, country or the world using a communication channel. So large geographical area is connecting a few lands together. Combines many types of media. Wide area networks are connected with telephone lines fiber optic cable or satellite link. The best example for wide area network is internet. Other smaller examples of wide area networks are bank cash dispenser. A bank cash dispenser is a network that connects to the internet. It allows the customers to withdraw the amount of money and update the account details to the customer. Other example is traffic light system. Company business network with the several branch offices and 4G mobile broadband system. Wide area network are often established by service provider that then list their wide area network to businesses, schools, governments or the public. These customers can use the network to relay and store data or communication with other users, no matter their location, as long as they have access to the, the established wide area network. A wide area network is no network ownership, or we call as public network. A public network is a network that has the least or no restriction on it. It can be freely accessed by anyone without any restriction. Actually, there are many advantages in wide area network. There is a few of advantages. First, increase efficiency. Everyone on the network can use the same data. This avoid problems where some users may have all the information than others. Message can be sent quickly to anyone else on the network. This message can have pictures, sounds or data included that we call as attachment. Another advantage, ease of communication. Wide area network help you to cover a larger geographical area. Therefore, business offices situated at longer distances can easily communicate. And another advantage is sharing of data or information is private and confidential. You can share the data connected to all the devices in the respectively network. For example, you can set up head office server and share the data among all the office branches. Hence, there is no need to purchase separate emails, files and backup servers. Instead, you can get all the backup and support from the head office server. Now, let's talk about disadvantages of wide area network. Okay, disadvantage of a wide area network. First, security problems. Since wide area network has more technologies combined to each other, it faces more security issues comparing to local area network. This can open a security gap which pave the way for malicious attack and identity theft. Besides that, wide area network poses wide coverage which can be used negatively by people of different computers. 
So this means we need strong mechanism to protect resources again from hackers and viruses. Next disadvantage of wide area network is high cost. The initial setup cost of investment is very high. Wide area network are on default complicated and complex basically because of their geographical coverage. Hence, they are expensive to set up. Setting up of a wide area network uh, require purchasing of routers, switch and security solution. Last disadvantage is maintenance problem. Large enterprise will dedicate personnel to maintaining their wide area network. It is difficult to maintain the wide area network because need skilled technicians and network administrators. It also requires more time to resolve uh, issues because of the involvement of multiple wired and wireless technologies. Maintaining for wide area network is a difficult task to carry out, especially maintaining a data center that operates 24 7 is the biggest challenge out of all. It is full-time job that needs assistance from network administrators and technicians. So we can summary between LAN versus WAN. LAN and WAN we can separate into categories. For area of coverage, LAN is limited geographical area smaller than WAN while WAN covers a large geographical area or the world larger than land. For telecommunication lines category, land is lack of need of least telecommunication lines, while WAN often built using least communication lines. While in ownership, okay, land is a private organization while when is public or no network ownership. In setting costs, land use low cost while when use the high cost. For transmission speed, land is high speed and when is low speed. Now we look for enterprise private network or EPN. EPN is a computer network that helps enterprise companies, especially in business, with a number of different offices connect those offices to each in a secure way over a network. This private network exists for the purpose of sharing resources and sensitive information within their offices and they have encrypted data to ensure security and privacy. EPN also plays an important role in making a private network. People across the organization securely can communicate with one another. EPN also uh, has a computer network that entirely controlled by one location and is used to connect multiple locations. The best way to explain what is enterprise private network which is connecting different shops of the company and then can be a show in communication network between head office and remote office of the company and also can describe a connecting hospital branch from different cities together and sharing of data like live videos among different university campus. Advantages in Enterprise Private Network Advantage is, is the best for business users. And EPN is cost effective for big companies and has higher security than other types of public network. And also EPN use cloud storage for storing and retrieve of data. And then the message are encrypted before sending and last is different offices are centralized together through EPN.
While disadvantage for enterprise private network, need a full-time network administrator to keep the system up and going. The use of firewall, security protocols and systems increase the cost of upkeep and maintenance for an organization. Continue to what is virtual private network or VPN. VPN can describe the opportunity to establish a protected network connection when using public network. VPN encrypt your internet traffic and disguise your online identity. This makes it more difficult for third party to track your activities online and steal data. The encryption takes place in real time. VPN provides companies with a secure connection to the company network server. VPN help to ensure the Transmitted data is safe from being intercepted by unauthorized people. And then are virtual security tools that create a secure connection between the user's device and the desired private network by using encryption. Now let's talk about advantages virtual private network. First is secure your sensitive data. If you are using the internet on public places through free Wi-Fi, when hackers may leak your data, sensitive data may include bank account details, credit card details, or email. If you use VPN, then all the data is encrypted before transferring to the internet and your data becomes safe from hackers and VPN help to ensure that transmitted data is safe from being intercepted by unauthorized people. Second advantage is height detecting geolocation. Most websites use the geolocation features to track user location and get user real IP. They use this information to license their product and they will not allow the products to be accessed in some countries. And VPN change your IP address and bypass this identity layer and give you access to that website. And last is protect data while buying online, such as buying online tickets. There is a variation in prices for buying airline tickets online. The ticket price are little higher for developed countries. You can use VPN of less developed countries and get a discount in price. Sometimes this trick not works because some websites store cookies in your browser when you first time visit the website. So it is good practice to clear your cache and then using a VPN. And then disadvantage virtual private network. First is VPN is sometimes costly. That means is a user need to buy the software due the high quality service. Some VPN are costly and must to pay every month. And then, data transfer over the internet becomes slow. If you use VPN over slow internet package, that browsing websites become slow. This is because of routing web traffic from ISP to VPN and VPN to ISP. Due to the large distance, your internet connection becomes slow. And last is not all devices support VPN. Some operating system and devices don't have VPN software made, so they have to configure manually VPN connection. For example, Linux and Chromebook don't have VPN software support. Also, some smartphones and gaming console have not to support for VPN software. 